All right, so walking up, it's a corner lot. Very, very pretty. Nice little front porch. All right, walking into the entrance, it feels really nice and spacious. This entrance is wider than it looks. To the left, we have the office with nice built-ins, French doors. And then you have the formal dining area or play area. Tall ceilings, a lot of light in the living room. Stairs are wide. Really nice and open feeling in here. Oh, the kitchen's gorgeous. Looks like they redid that. Nice and clean looking. Farmhouse sink. Breakfast nook. Lots of light. Open to the living room. The appliances look good in here. The stove top is gas. Good size pantry. The fridge stays. I don't know if Rochelle and Chris told you that, but that's pretty cool. And it's nice. It's an LG with the double drawers right there. Let's see, cabinets. Cabinets are nice and solid. Here is the hall closet. Coat closet, okay. So from the front door, if I'm walking in to my left, is a couple of rooms, which is really cool. So this front room is adorable. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's got the little castle, the tree, little bed. Um, it's a good size. I think it's a really decent size room. Okay. And then to my left, laundry. Oh, this is great. So you got extra room for a fridge, cabinet space, lots of, this is a huge laundry room and it's not connected to your garage. So you don't always have to walk through your mess of laundry. Garage to my right. And then here is a full bathroom that opens to a bedroom, which again is the second one on the bottom floor, which is really cool. Let's check out the closet. Nice, nice size closet. All right, in the garage, it's a, you know, two car garage. I don't think there's much more to say besides it's just a two-car garage. All right, I'm in the living room. Tall ceilings. And I'm headed to the master. Oh, it's huge. Huge master. I think if you painted and did floors, this house would look like a different house. <laughs> Bathroom, sink, jacuzzi tub, it's a good size, shower, there we go, secondary sink. Bathroom and closet. Closet's a really good size. There you go. And then there's this extra space essentially under the stairs that's not even being used, you could use. Okay, going up the stairs. To my left 
is an extra play area. It's a good size. That's super cool. Then we have attic, I'm guessing. Oh, water heaters. Awesome. Okay. Off of the playroom is another bedroom. Good size. Walk-in closet. It's like we got a probably a Jack and Jill bathroom going on here. Yep. Which leads me to another bedroom on the other side. It's a good size. Okay, coming out of this back bedroom, this really cute built-in desk, love that. Um, stairs, play area, and then to the right of the stairs is where I'm headed now, which I love this little, it's like a little bridge. See it when you walk in, living room, and then you got the media room over here. So, and then... The projector and things are negotiable, I saw. Um, and the chairs. Let's see. Yeah, so this would be cool. You just wanna, you know, put blackout curtains like they have or do something with that if you really want this to be the media. So that is the house. We'll head to the backyard. Okay, coming from the back door, St. Augustine grass, looks really good, well taken care of, it's huge, you can put a pool back here, play set, it's super flat, um, corner lot, so it's bigger, I mean all in all, it's a really great backyard. I think if you had a covered patio, it'd be really nice. Here's just a vantage point from the breakfast nook looking upstairs because I think it's pretty cool looking. <laughs> 